In this session, we will discuss how to set up a hour-based deduction or fringe in the construction payroll for Sage Intact. Go into Applications, Construction Payroll, and look for the System Pay Modifiers. Once in the System Pay Modifiers, click Create New, and we're going to identify what this deductor fringe is. So in this first example, we'll say it's a setup for a union dues. So we'll call this dues. We'll make it effective as of today. We'll pick a category. It's either going to be 401k, deduction, other compensation or reimbursement. In this case, it's going to be a deduction. And what type of deduction is it? Amount or hours based? In this scenario, we're going to do an hours based. And once I select that type, it will open up unique fields that are particular to this type of calculation. If this deduction is to be taken out before any taxes, so if it's exempt from federal withholding, you can come into here and select the taxes that are to be taken out after this dues is, is reduced. And then in this scenario, you would set up a rate definition. So I'd click add definition. And because it's an hour based, you're going to select which pay type this affects. So we can say if it's regular pay, what's the amount per hour? Now, you may not fill this out here. So for example, if the actual amount or rate is going to be determined by the individual employee or the individual union local that they're working on, what you're really doing here is setting up a list to use later on. So you want to fill out the hours types, but you don't necessarily need to fill out a rate here. If this is the same for all the employees in the company, you can come into here and say for all the employees, it's $1.50 an hour. And that can also be overridden at a later stage in the setup as well. And then what you would need to do if there's other types of pays that are also affected by this, you can click the plus button here and say it's also the same for overtime. And it's also the same for salary, double time, whatever the, whatever the option is that you need. And you can also establish different rates based on what type it is. So if it's overtime, it's 2.5. 2 if it's double time, it's 4. So once you establish the hours needed and the rates, the only other thing left to do is if there is any reporting requirements for the Atrix module, this is where you would fill out your tax type number, which you can look up in the uh, payroll help. As we discussed earlier, if I go to my shortcut and my tax types and tables, you know, does this need to be reported on a W-2, for example? I can put a filter on here. and say, you know what, just show me my W-2 items or lines. And then I can go through and see if, you know, which one this qualifies for. And it should be this one, and it needs to be 3303 for your tax. And that's something you can come back and do at a later time as well. Once you've established this, you'll click Save. Now you can use this existing deduct to create another one. If you do do a duplicate here, it does, will remain as an hour type. So if you need an amount type, you don't want to duplicate. In this scenario here, let's set up a new one. And we'll click create a new. And let's do a union benefit. So let's call this health and welfare, H and W, or you can spell it out or abbreviate it. And now the pay category, in this case, if it's going to be a fringe benefit or a union uh, benefit, you can select other compensation. Then the type, in this case, again, will be hour. And now you'll notice down in here when I select rate definition, it doesn't, oh, it, because it is an hour, it's still, going to, it's still going to ask which hours are affected by it. So we'll say regular. So it's the same calculation as you saw earlier. But now this is not going to be an employee deduction. It's going to be a fringe benefit that will accrue for the company and 
can post to the job cost. So this is how to set up a hour type deduct or fringe in the Sage and Tech construction payroll. Thank you.